Al Hijr, the Rock. With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. Alif Lam Ra. I am Allah, the All Seeing. These are the verses of the perfect book and of the Quran that distinguishes the right from the wrong. Often those who disbelieve in the verses of this perfect book would wish they had been Muslims. Leave them alone to eat and enjoy themselves, and let vain hopes beguile them, but they will soon know the reality. And never did we destroy a township, but it had a decree made known. No people can outstrip its term, and none can ever remain behind. And they say, O oh, you to whom this reminder has been revealed, you are a madman indeed. Why do you not bring the angels for punishment to us, if you are of the truthful? We send no angels until the punishment becomes rightly due, and when once we do send them, these disbelievers will not be the respited ones. Verily it was we, we ourselves, who have revealed this reminder, and it is we who are most certainly its guardian. Indeed we sent messengers before you to the sects of the former peoples. Yet not a single messenger ever came to them, but they treated him scornfully. Just as we made this a habit with the peoples gone by, so do we cause this tendency of scornful treatment into the minds of these people who sever their ties with God. They will not believe in this Qur'an, though the precedence of the former peoples has already gone before them, showing them how the opposition of truth makes them deserving of the punishment of God. And if we open to them a gate of the heaven, and they, the angels, began ascending through it? Even then, these people would surely say, Our eyes have only been dazed. Rather, we are a bewitched people. We have indeed set up constellations in the heaven, and we have decked it fair for the beholders. And we have guarded it against the intrusion of every rebellious rejected Satan. As to one who wishes to steal a hearing of the revelation to distort it, a bright, fiery flame pursues him. We have spread out and put fertilizers in the earth from outside and set up firm mountains therein. And we have caused to grow upon it every suitable thing in due proportion. And we have provided in it means of livelihood for you and even for all others whom it is not for you to provide. And there is not a thing, but we have the vast treasures of it, and we have not sent it down but according to a proper and prescribed measure. And we send impregnating winds, and pour forth water from the clouds, and give it to you to drink. You are not the ones to store it up. And surely it is we ourselves who give life and cause death, and it is we who are the sole survivors after everything perishes. And indeed we know those among you who are the foremost in accepting the truth, and we indeed know those who are the laggards. And certainly it is your Lord who will gather them together. Verily he is all-wise, all-knowing. Surely we created human being from dry, ringing clay, transformed from black mud molded into shape. And we created the jinn before him from the fire of intensely hot wind. And recall the time when your Lord said to the angels, I am indeed going to create a human being from dry ringing clay, formed from black mud molded into shape. So when I have shaped him in perfection, and have breathed my revelation into him, fall you down in submission to him. And when he created the human being, the angels submitted, all of them together. But Iblis, though he was separately bidden to do the same, did not. He stubbornly refused to be with those who submit. 
The Lord said, Iblis, what is the reason with you that you would not be with those who submit? He replied, I would never submit to a human being whom you have created from dry ringing clay formed from black mud molded into shape. The Lord said, If it is so, then get out from this state, for surely you are rejected. And of course my disapproval shall be on you till the day of requital. He said, My Lord, then grant me respite till the day when these human beings shall be raised to spiritual life. The Lord said, You are indeed of those already granted respite. Till the day of which the time is known to me. He said, My Lord, since you have condemned me as a stray and erring, I will surely make evil of straying from the straight path, fair seeming to them, as long as they stay on the earth. I shall seduce them all except your sincere servants from among them, your chosen and purified ones, whom I shall not be able to seduce. Lord said, The path that my sincere servants follow leads straight to me. As for my servants, you have no authority over them. Different, however, is the case of such of the deviators who choose to follow you. And, of course, Jehenna is the promised place for such of them all. It has seven gates. Each gate shall have an assigned portion of them who have gone astray. Surely those who guard against evil and are dutiful to me and humankind shall live amidst gardens and fountains. It will be said to them, Enter therein to live in peace and be secure and we shall remove every vestige of rancor that may be in their hearts. They will be like brothers, seated cheerfully on raised couches of happiness, face to face. They shall suffer no fatigue, nor shall they ever be ejected from there. O prophet, give my servants the important news that I, I alone, am most certainly the one great protector, the ever-merciful. And also tell them that my punishment is a very grievous one. And also give them the important news about Abraham's guests. When they entered upon him and greeted him, saying, Peace be upon you, he answered, We feel afraid of you. They said, Have no fear. We give you good tidings of the birth of a son endowed with knowledge. He, Abraham, said, Do you give me the good tidings in spite of the fact that old age has come upon me? So on what basis are you giving me this good tidings? They said, We give you good tidings on the basis of the revelation of truth. Therefore do not be of the despairing ones. He said, and who despairs of the mercy of his Lord but the erring ones? He added, O you messengers, what is your real business then? They said, We have been sent to destroy a guilty people, accepting the followers of Lot because they are not guilty. We shall invariably deliver them all. Accepting his wife, of whom God says, we have decided that she will not accompany those ordained to be delivered, but shall be really of those staying behind. When the messengers came to Lot and his followers, Lot said, Surely you are an unknown people. I apprehend evil from you because of your coming. They said, You need no apprehensions. But we have come to you with the news of that punishment about the truth of which they doubted. And we have come to you with the sure news, and most certainly we are truthful. So set forth from here, with your people in the latter part of the night, and yourself following in their wake. Let none of you look about and lag behind, but proceed to where you are commanded. 
and we appraised him with certainty of this decree, that the roots and last remnants of these people are to be cut off when they rise at dawn. And the residents of the city came rejoicing to the house of Lot. Lot said, Surely these are my guests. Therefore do not put me to shame by your disrespectful behavior towards them, and keep your duty to Allah, and disgrace me not. They said, Have we not told you not to entertain all sorts of unknown people? He said, Here are my daughters as hostages to serve as a guarantee that the strangers will not make a mischief. If you must do something, to make any investigation against me. Prophet, by your holy life and by your true faith, these your opponents are also wandering distractedly in a fit of frenzy. Then a dreadful punishment overtook these at sunrise. We turned it upside down and rained upon the people petrified hard stones of clay constantly. Surely in this narrative there are many signs for such as can interpret signs. And the ruins of these townships lie on a road that still exists. Behold, in this narration is indeed a sign for the believers. Certainly the dwellers of the thicket of Midian were also a wrongdoing people. Therefore we inflicted punishment on them and the ruins of both their cities, the city of Sodomites and the city of Acre, lie indeed on the open highway traversed by the caravans from Hijaz to Syria. And the dwellers of the Hijr, a township of Thamud lying between Tabuk and Medina, also cried lies to the messengers. And we gave them our commandments, but they were averse to them. And they, in search of a life of peace and security, used to hew some parts of the mountains into houses feeling secure therein. But the dreadful punishment overtook them in the morning, so that all that they had accomplished was of no avail to them. And we have not created the heavens and the earth, and all that is between the two, but to suit the requirements of truth and wisdom. And the threatened hour of punishment is sure to come, so turn away from them with goodly grace. Surely it is your Lord who is the great Creator, the possessor of perfect knowledge. And in fact, we have given you the seven oft-recited verses of Surat al-Fatiha and the Grand Qur'an. Extend not your eyes desirously towards the fleeting enjoyments we have bestowed on some classes of people among them, nor grieve over this destruction of them, and be kind and gentle to the believers. And proclaim, I am indeed the plain warner promised by God. Since we have decided to send down this revelation full of warnings to those who have formed themselves into factions by taking oaths against you, and who have pronounced the Qur'an to be a pack of lies. So by your Lord we will surely question them all about their misdeeds. Therefore, declare openly what you are commanded to deliver, and turn away from the polytheists. We do suffice you to punish those who treat you scornfully, who set up an other god beside Allah but they shall soon come to know the consequences. And we know indeed that your mind is distressed because of polytheistic things that they say. So the remedy of this distress is that you glorify your Lord with all his true praise and be of those who prostrate themselves before him and go on worshiping your Lord until there comes to you that which is certain and you breathe your last.